Chris Elliott is the Vice President of Barber Behavioral Health. He's joining us now and uh, we're talking about, last week we were talking about mental health and kids. Today we're shifting it to the big people, mental yeah, health adults. and adults. Yeah, so, so far we've talked about, you know, breaking through that stigma of mm -hmm. mental health care that, you know, it's normal to reach out for support. Sure. We've talked about uh, self-love and self-care. Mm -hmm. And we talked about kids, so now we're here to talk about adults. Yeah. yeah. So, what are some of the common signs that there might be be an issue? Yeah. With so, um, one thing just to kind of keep and remember, emotions can fluctuate day to day in everybody's lives. Yeah. You can be happy, you can be sad or anxious. Emotions are an important part of the human experience. So, just because you feel anxious doesn't mean there's always something wrong. Sure. Um, but some of the signs you want to look out for is, you know, when it starts to really impact your life, you know. You have that anxious thought that just won't go away. That's when, you know, if it's starting to affect your relationships or your work, or you can actually have, you know, physical symptoms. You know, you're not eating as much, you're not mm -hmm. sleeping very mm -hmm. well. That's when it's important to kind of reach out and kind of seek support. And it's important to do that early, to catch it early. Correct, because sometimes small things can make a big impact. You know, there's evidence out there that things just as simple as exercise, as little as 15 minutes a day, can be just as strong as an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. So, you know, changing your diet can have impacts as well. So it's sometimes it can be minor things that you can do that, you know, and it's not even exercising for an hour a day, which we all would struggle with. Yeah. It can be minor things. Yeah. And we've talked about this too over the past couple of weeks, but there are resources out there. Sometimes it's just about making that connection. Correct. So there's simple things out there for just support groups. And that ranges, you know, for things like grief counseling, that kind of stuff. Or like, you know, you have a loved one that's struggling with a, a, a serious illness. There's things like that. Uh, there's case management mm -hmm. services out there because sometimes uh, the mental health system is complex. So mm -hmm. there's people out there to help you kind of navigate uh -huh. that. And then, you know, outpatient therapy, psychiatric care, and even private practice. So th there's resources out there to help. And also a lot of time, maybe not all the time, but a substance abuse can, can be a big part of, of mental Correct. health and there's also help out there for that. Yep. So there's drug and alcohol programs that will be out there to help you kind of navigate the, those complex challenges. Yeah. How difficult or how easy is it to find these resources? So there are a lot of providers like Barber Behavioral Health out there. There's independent people out there. So Erie is lucky to have a strong uh, provider network. Um, sometimes there can be waits but there are various levels of resources out there to kind of help you find that support. And, you know, even minor things, I guess I can kind of help. Yeah, and I think Barber Behavior Health is a great place to start. If you are feeling a bit confused and overwhelmed and not quite sure uh, where to start, why not here? There's the number for you, uh, the address, Barber Behavioral Health. Chris, uh, we're so happy to have this partnership with you guys and to, to focus on mental health. Uh, as we continue through the next couple of months. Yeah, the, just a, one final thought sure. is like, there is hope, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, it, you can get better. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. You know, just kind of keep that in mind. It's what happens now is not always going to be. There is hope out there. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks for stopping in today Thank and you. sharing yeah, all that great information.